This video explains how to remove highly correlated variables from a data frame in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines one to five of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set called data is appearing at the top right. And we can print the first six rows of this data frame to the RStudio console using the head function, as you can see in line six of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that our data frame contains three columns, which are called x1, x2, and x3. And all of these columns contain random numeric values. Now, as a first step, in case we want to identify highly correlated variables, we need to apply the core function to create a correlation matrix, as you can see in line eight of the code. So if you run this line of code, a new correlation matrix is appearing at the top right, which is called core matrix. And we can print this matrix to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line nine of the code. And then you can see that we have created a correlation matrix. And you can already see that the correlation between the variable x1 and x2 is very high because it's almost one. Now, in the next step, we also need to modify our correlation matrix to remove those highly correlated variables, as you can see in lines 11 to 13 of the code. So in these lines of code, I'm removing the diagonal and the upper triangular matrix from our correlation matrix, as you can see by printing this updated correlation matrix. So as you can see, the diagonal and the upper part of the matrix have been set to zero. And then in the next step, I can create a new data set, which contains only variables that are not highly correlated. By using the apply function, our modified correlation matrix, and a user-defined function in which I'm specifying that I want to remove all variables with a correlation larger than 0 0.99. So if you run lines 16 to 18 of the code, you can see that a new data set called data new is appearing at the top right. And we can print the head of this new data set to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 19 of the code. And now you can see that we have removed the first column x1 from our data set because it was highly correlated with the second column x2. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.